All right, I'm going to call the Monday, October 1st, 2018, Park and Recreation Commission meeting to order. And we have no public form, so we're going to move right along. This looked like it was going to be to correspondence. Okay. Um, we have a letter that Rick wrote to Dawn McKay at uh, deep break mm -hmm. uh, regarding the turtles at Bittner Park and strategies and Rick wrote back and she's okay with what we plan to do which is be very careful mm -hmm. and we also have a letter thanking Rick for help us out Rick uh, it was really our department it, when they had us uh, I think the swearing of, of some uh, new firefighters uh, we just helped by like, providing PA system we know, deal with okay. that, but they thanked us for it so good okay Set it up. All right. I think Ellen and uh, Todd helped. Great. Okay. Approval of the September 10th minutes. Can I get a motion to approve the minutes? I'll make a motion to approve the September 10th minutes. A second? No. Second. All right. Any discussion on the minutes? We all good? Wow. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Aye. Any abstentions? Me. Right. Onward to our expenditures. Any questions or comments on the bills? We're all good. Wow, guys. I knew this was going to work fast. This may be a record meeting. We're good. No thanks. All right, so a motion to accept the bills. I'm making a motion to accept the bills, and oh, do I have to say the number? I second it. Any more discussion? All right, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? All right, good. Okay, moving right along. Department reports. Rick's report. Oops. Uh, I got a couple I'll just highlight. One, one is number eight. Um, so the Green yeah. Committee, this is regarding the Marlene Talento request for a bench, which suggested maybe going to the Green Committee. Uh, Robert Borden um, liked that idea. And uh, one of the uh, Rosa family members and her daughters came to the uh, Green Committee meeting and had a very, very good presentation. Um, it, was, it was excellent. The Green Committee tabled it only because they weren't sure where it would go or what bench or whatever. They didn't say no, they just tabled it. So I went out with uh, the chairman of the Green Committee and I think one or two other members, and we actually selected a bench that's already there that would be dedicated and named for Marlene uh, Talento. I then met with Robert Borden out there. They're thrilled over that. Um, and they'll just put a plaque at the base of the bench that is, you know, an honor, a memory of um, Marlene. So the, the, the Green Committee has to still officially approve it, which I'm sure they will. They didn't unapprove it. They just yeah. want to know which one and where would it go. So uh, since there's already one there, uh, down that area by food center, they thought that was uh, a marketplace. Um, that made a lot of sense. I think that's really an applicable place for it too. You know, mm -hmm. given you know, for right. years spent working on the green. So. And so the only thing that needs to be cleaned up is you know it's kind of dirty, and, and so I got a hold of a company called On the Wall, Off the Wall. They do graffiti removal. It's not graffiti; it's just dirty. Mm -hmm. You know, it's they're going to do it for nothing. They come out of Wallingford, wow, nice? and so. Um, I don't know, it's this week or next week, I'm supposed to meet with the guy and just show him which bench it is. And they'll just come down sometime in October, they'll clean it up, and, and then um, the uh, Rosa family can order the plaque and they'll put it in there. And Great. They'll be good. Good. Okay. Again, it still has to officially be approved by Green Committee, but I, I don't see any reason don't anymore. See why it would. Yeah. Good. And that makes him happy too, so I'm happy about that. Yeah. Good. Um, can I ask you about number six? Does it look like. We may get special trash, special uh, trash it's, compactor barrel. It's very barrel? expensive. It's Are a, they? It's a, a solar powered. You know, depending on what kind we get, it could be from two thousand to five thousand dollars. It's not wow. not inexpensive. But we uh, we looked at a, a video presentation Brian and I did by a guy like online, and uh, we got some quotes and all that. But um, uh, you know, I think if it happens, we're going to have to get some help from shop owners to do that. Yeah. You know, um, so I think Brian was going to try to arrange for a meeting. 
The other option I just suggest is what if we just try taking the barrels out of there for a season? Mm -hmm. People are usually pretty good about not leaving water bottles and coffee cups on a sidewalk. Maybe they'll go across the street to the green and put in one of the barrels there. So I said it's another option. You know, we have to look at all these options, but um, it's not working well what's happening now unless we do another pickup because especially in the summer, twice a week isn't working. Mm -hmm. And those barrels are overflowing and um, it's, it's not appropriate for our downtown area to look like that. Have we looked at other towns? Because I'm like off the top of my head, I can't remember them in Brantford and Madison along the shops, but I could be totally wrong. Madison has some. Our, our, our contractor says they do Madison also. They say they go downtown every day and pick oh, really? up. And that's what they say every day they empty them. Wow. Right. I don't know how many they have, but somewhere there downtown. Okay. So that's, you know, it's just uh, resolution still pending on that. Um, um, and the other one, number five, um, we met with Matt. To, uh, uh, I just spoke with Terry about that. Too. Yeah. Do you want me to go over that? Or? Sure. So, go ahead. so Terry and Larry and I, um, we have an issue because one of our guys in the kitchen retired for the second time. <laughs> Lindsay, he's been with us for a long time. So he's really definitely gone this time. And um, so now it was the time to look at okay, what are the needs there in the kitchen? And the hours that we had budgeted, we were. We were over quite a bit, over a number of hours, because Larry just said, I can't do it. I can't do it in the hours we have, because we had X number of meals. And you know, you see well, Terry's we had report. That report went about a month or so. We yeah. We do a phenomenal number of meals. Right, right. So uh, we met with Matt, Mary Jane, uh, Melavezzi, the finance director, and Mitch. And um, uh, Larry, so we asked Larry, what do you need? He said, you need three people at 24 hours. Before it was 24, 19, and 10. So they agreed to it. It's being advertised right now for the, the, th the third 24-hour position. Um, so that should get Larry where he needs to be and, and should be okay for, you know, into the near future. If we, if we start producing more meals, we should be okay. So that, that's good. And the last thing I'll mention, Bonnie is uh, moving to the assessor's office. Her last day is uh, October 12th. And uh, she's been with us 10 or 11 years maybe? I think, or close, eight, maybe, I don't know, somewhere, eight to ten years. Yeah. So uh, she's going to the assessor's office. Hey, Rick, getting back to the, uh, the meals, I mean, is that something we keep track of? Like, we break even? We, do we keep track of that at all? Or? Yeah, yeah, we do. We get subsidy. We have a $25,000 or $26,000 subsidy, and the town budget helps subsidize the cost of the meals. Okay. Uh, you know, otherwise we'd have to charge... A lot, you know, much more for the senior citizens. Okay, so we basically break even on it, the park and rec. Because we get subsidized, yeah. Subsidized right, right. Okay. Uh, and what helps is the breakfast that has been growing a lot. The breakfast, anybody can come for breakfast, and we, we have some net revenue from breakfast, about nineteen twenty thousand dollars $20,000 a year we make on breakfast. Yeah. Um, and that also helps subsidize the, the cost of the meals for the seniors for lunch. That all goes in the same account. Oh, great. Okay. Yeah. So without that, we would need twenty thousand more dollars. Yeah. Um, but that, you know, our net uh, uh, plus is twenty thousand, nineteen to twenty thousand. Right. So that's a big help, you know, for that. So like anybody, anybody can come off the street, and have breakfast. Uh, sometimes the uh, parents who are with their kids in gymnastics, they, they have a little something to eat while the kids are in gymnastics, or folks come down after an exercise class and you know have a. A snack and uh, the money well, money well spent. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's a it's an important pro it's a program. Our meal is a program. You know, it's a socialization thing for a lot of the seniors that instead of sitting home by themselves eating a lunch, they're here. And some of them, there's a group that are here at about seven thirty or eight o'clock yes. and they stay till one or two. Even you know? later, because they'll do a program in the afternoon. They right. stay they stay from breakfast to, through lunch. Pretty much, yeah, yeah. they do, yeah, yeah. And because you know, otherwise they're home by themselves. Yeah, I think it's Great. fabulous. Yeah. Yeah. But Great. Terry's report, I think it was last month, the month before, we served 8,854 meals last year. So that's significant. Getting back to Bonnie leaving, will you be hiring somebody yes. to take her position? Yeah, we advertised, I think, this week that Mitch is sending the uh, notice out. Yeah. Yeah. All right, any other questions for Rick? Okay, Tony's report. Our park foreman. Okay, I have a question. What does tagged all chains in town mean? So the chains that are um, 
you know, blocking on, you know, anywhere we have a chain where we don't want somebody to drive yes. or walk, you know, we, you have to, we put like uh, ribbons on them so they're visible. Oh, okay. Otherwise you can't really yeah, see the chain, sense. you know, if you're walking, right. it's a little dark, yeah. okay. you know, we don't want somebody okay. tripping on them. All it's right. uh, it's like ribbons he puts on them to uh, make them more visible. Makes sense. Yeah, then we do that okay. periodically as they start to wear out. Well, when I first read that, I thought, well, I didn't get an well, here it is. And you know, they kind of did all the, the sort of summer cleanup. You know, I think somewhere you might have put in here, they put the uh, ADA walkway away, you know, yes, the, the Jacobs that, yeah. uh, lifeguard chairs are put away. Um, in the, the Bidner C batting cage. Uh, Wait, go back to that. Where do we put all of these lifeguard chairs? Uh, behind the garage. They are it's behind, behind that's where they are. The beach. No, the we, we, yeah. Yeah, well, the two inch Quantipog we put in the in the bathhouse at Quantipog in the breezeway yes. there. Yes. But the ones down at Jake's we bring behind the we garage. We bring over to the yeah. garage. Okay. Um, Tony mentioned Bittner C batting cage bullpens reclaimed. Well, what that means is that Little League used to take the responsibility of of um, you know cleaning them up and you know maintaining them whatever, and um, uh, they were like weeds were growing in there and they just were not looking very good. So. Tony got the combination of the locks that I think, or got the key or whatever, because it was literally had it. Um, and he's started taking that back to, you know, re recut them and everything because they weren't being done. So we, we took that back because they were looking terrible. So um, just another thing we, we do we with our. Are we billing still for Little League for that? If they're their responsibility, but yet we are taking no, care of them? Question me why I want to discuss. They expect so much, but they got to do a little bit of, well, that's, of maintenance, that's kind of, too. Yeah, my thought is if they're complaining that we're not doing enough to work on their fields, we are now taking time to do this, which Thank takes you. away time to do fields. Just a thought. Might want to talk to them. It doesn't seem logical that we're picking up more no. responsibilities when we have so many and... They are complaining that we, mm -hmm. their fields are not perfect for them, but we have to, you know, now we're going to do something else. They have else. to take some responsibility, too. It's like, I'm not so, going to I mean, wait I don't on know. them. I don't know. I think, I think this does need a conversation, though. Mm -hmm. If you want to have it with them, that would be great. We're, we're meeting with one of the representatives tomorrow. Okay. Well, let that be part of the conversation, yeah. just so we get a handle on it. Any other questions about Anthony's report or comments? It's not really about Anthony's report, but I did see Bittner's basketball court and pickleball is all redone. Did he it's completely finish it or uh, is he's, it? He's going to do the, the logo still. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. But he called me today. Can you use? You can use them now. Oh, yeah. we can. Yeah. I think he just finished lining them today, I think, because he yeah, texted he me this the picture. morning. That's the only reason I knew. Okay. Yeah. Because I'm, okay. We we're going to try to cram everybody in on Wednesday, the pickleball learning class, and I was going to go up to Bittner, but then we kept, they kept, Connor and Stephanie kept saying they weren't playable yet. Yeah, as of this morning, he texted me this morning and said they were finishing it up today. And he asked me if they, if they we want the logo back. I said, yeah, if you can do it, the logo is beautiful. You know, the Parks and Rec logo in the middle. Yeah, right yeah. here. So, yeah, if you can do that. Um, I, I told him we might be willing to share the cost on that. You know, it might be like five or seven hundred dollars maybe or something because, um, it wasn't totally their fault of what happened. It was it actually it was the, the the paint. There was a problem with the paint that they got. The right. lot or something wasn't adhering properly. So um, he said it was quite an expense to redo it all. He said, you know, if you guys can help with the logo, he said, you got it. I mean, it's okay. such a nice touch yeah. to have it on there. Yeah. Which he didn't. We originally he wasn't going to do that originally anyway. We asked him to, do it and he threw it in at no cost when he originally did it anyway. Uh, yeah. So I think it's I think it's fair. Worth it for us to help. Mm -hmm. So I can use them Wednesday at 8.30? I think so. Um, um, I'll double check it tomorrow, but I'm, if you post it online that they're done, I, I, you know, you I just had a text from this morning. You posted a picture um, of them uh, before we left. Uh, yeah, but I can double check with them. Yeah. I'll make a note. Okay. I'll call them tonight after the meeting. Connor knows, so Connor can let Stephanie know, and Stephanie can let me know. <laughs> Okay. Where I'm supposed to be. He just posted a picture. It's saying new layout. Well, maybe it's not done. Maybe it's not quite done. But you'll find out. Well, there's people playing basketball on it, but it doesn't mean it doesn't <laughs> that mean it's, it's done. done. No. All right. Rick will check. Yeah. All right. Anything else on Anthony's report? <clears throat> All 
All right, so let's move on to the uh, Recreation Supervisor, Ellen's report. A lot of registrations. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the fall events, there are you know, just uh, things coming up, the Scarecrow uh, contest, uh, you know, like we did last year. I don't know if it was a contest. I guess it was, yeah, on the green. Yeah. Um, uh, Claire, I know you were deeply involved in that last year, and so uh, <laughs> that's happening again. The window painting, that, those numbers will go up, I think. The window painting is um, where we had kids uh, go out and, and businesses allow their windows to be available for painting scenes on there. Um, it, it usually is quite a bit more than that, so I'm sure there'll be more before that happens. In the trunk or treat, we generally get about 30, 36 cars. Still um, I'm, yeah, again, I'm sure that, that number will go up. And uh, that's October 29th, 28th, 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 Sunday, right. So those are big events coming up. Um, and she's working uh, with the committee on the 25th anniversary. Mm -hmm. um, and I need to go over there. I have the uh, list that Bonnie printed up of former commissioners. I have. I I want to make sure we're not missing anybody on there. She sent it to us. You got it? Okay. Yes. Yeah, we'll talk about that when we get to it. Um, I just like that she's including the non residents yes. um, registrations because that is yeah. huge. That is huge. Mm -hmm. um, and that number keeps growing each yep. time, so that's great. Just proves again that we have an awesome program. <laughs> okay, any other comments on Ellen's report? All right, and then um, seniors' report. I just I was just talking to Terry about the uh, trip to Mackinac and apparently it went very well. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and it's a great trip, so. To Michigan? Mackinac? Yes, they went up to Mackinac yeah. Island, they went to oh, Frankenmuth, wow. Henry no Ford cars. Museum. It's a great trip. Horses and carriages, no yeah. cars no allowed. No cars are allowed. Island. The only cars yeah. allowed on the island, there's one police car, one fire truck, and I believe one ambulance. And, and then there's a plane. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty interesting. Yeah. I'll, I'll get to be a senior. Of course, nobody lives there all winter. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like they have a lot of fun. What's, how old are you going to be a senior? Well, I don't know why you're 55. not 55. 55. Oh, I got five. That's me go. next year. Oh, five gee. Sure, baby. <laughs> <laughs> no, there's a, there's a lot going on here. Yeah. Yes. Uh, any crafts here? We should now say that's coming up October 20th. October 20th. Please come. That. And if you could spare some time, we could use some help. Friday afternoon setting up. And Saturday, All right, let me, uh, just manning the tables and helping to sell stuff be great. Yeah, if I'm, if I'm around it. <coughs> yeah. That's the way, that's the door. And if not, you. come anyway that, just to visit. That's your door <laughs> in. <laughs> because there's a or lot of door goodies. <laughs> your door. Yeah. There's a no, lot of goodies. Let me know. If I'm yeah. not doing anything, glad to help you. Oh, yeah, no, no, we could use the help. And the fall harvest dance is coming up a week from Friday. And that's, yes. uh, that's why I think there's about 60 people signed up already for that. A lot going on. Any other questions or comments about Terry's report? Okay, and then we were just given a, a, uh, a list of things from Todd that have been done. Yeah, a lot of things are wrapping up. You know, the group project we've been working on since early July or late June, and right. it's almost done um, windows are, are done um, painting is almost done the exterior interior was pretty much our guys did or they did some of them but that's just about done and uh, I asked Todd to get some moms and he planted them in front of the uh, the sign here and then I think 12 in the front um, He's got a couple hanging ones back here in the courtyard in a, in a hanging pot kind of thing. So it just dressed it up a little bit and make, made it look nice out there. Okay. And I know one of the things we're working on is the Ruth Alexander room needs some. Yeah. Needs some work. But I think we're coming along quite quite well. Yeah. Oh, there's still a few more carpets I'd like to see changed. Mm -hmm. but let's see how like this one. And the one in the Ruth Alex <laughs> But you know that. I'm working on it. <laughs> okay, reports. Standing fields. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> for the month of uh, September, I was not able to attend a standing fields committee. I was out of state at the time. Uh, but that didn't mean that they didn't conduct business. Maybe you could fill in some of the gaps there for me. Uh, one of the things that was supposed to be resolved within the last seven days was the disposition of the um, turf field up at the high school. Uh, 
Did that get? No. Okay. <laughs> ongoing. It's going to be in so mediation. It's it's ongoing yeah. then. Okay. So, um, is it? It's going into mediation. It's going to mediation. Uh, our our town attorney uh, has recommended a couple of different mediators, and everybody has to agree to it. And some mm -hmm. of the contractors liked a certain one, and but one didn't. And then uh, so they threw out another name, and everybody like that, but one, another one didn't. Uh, and so he's got two more names he's throwing out, and okay. uh, hopefully uh, he'll hear back from everybody this week. Okay. okay. Yeah. And the Standing Fields Committee had a field walk over the weekend. Unfortunately, again, I was out of town. I could not attend, so mm. unhappy customer. Um, Rick, can you fill in the, the, the uh, walk sure. on? Uh, and Lawrence, Lawrence, did you go Sunday? No, I did not. So he, Joe Lawrence joined us on Saturday. We went to the high school fields, um, Cox and um, Long Hill. And um, overall, the high school feels pretty good. You know, synthetic turf is getting a little, well, we know we got to look at replacing that soon. It's in the budget, or what was in the budget this year and got cut out. Uh, we can't push it back too much longer, the, the stadium field. Um, the trail field looked great. Um, you know, the, the grass and the outfield of uh, the, the baseball field looked good. Our guy who's out there tr was, um, Grooming because there was a game on Sunday. He was there Saturday to groom it up. So we had a lot of rain on Friday. Right. Um, but overall, pretty good. Paul Schmidt always writes up a report, you know, okay. and gives us comments about some work that needs to be done. The upper Cox fields, though, I'll, I'll, I'll say, are very disappointing. We put a lot of money into those fields. Mm -hmm. They uh, they don't look good. They're full of weeds because we can't use any kind of weed control there. I know it. And they're, Tony says it's probably 30% grass. The rest is clover and crabgrass and all kinds of weeds going up there. Yeah, I was um, there yesterday for a soccer game, and the crabgrass had definitely taken over the smaller field. Yeah. And unfortunately, the crabgrass was dying in clumps. So now, he's, now it's browning so out. It's browning yeah. out. Which, but what uh, can we do about it? Um, the, the challenge is the fact that it is a still school property. Exactly. So you can't use a lot of... Well, one of the things that I had suggested to the Standing Fields Committee is that maybe we could transfer ownership of that field up at the Upper Cox from the school property to Park and Recreation. This is completely detached from the rest of the school area. You have to go up the walkway in order to do that. And they don't use it during the day? They don't use it at all. They don't use it at no. all. So if, if that's possible, then that would allow us to be a little bit more proactive in maintaining yes. the, uh, uh, the fields uh, with the proper herbicides and uh, and killing of the grubs. Uh, now, I guess Paul Schmidt had suggested that maybe there's an opportunity to speak to the town attorney about maybe doing a quick deed and having that ownership transferred to well, the school, the from the school board of ed would have from the board of ed. To. Well, both parties would have to agree to it yeah. from from board of ed so to the town property. The board of ed? I, I approached Dr. Freeman three or four years ago, okay. three years ago maybe, and I think there's support. For that, uh, we just have to figure out what you know what what le legally has to happen to do it to transfer it over. But but John's right; it, would, it could make a big difference if we yeah. could do that. But meanwhile, what Tony can do and he's going to do is um, just aerate it like crazy and just keep throwing seed on it, and eventually the grass will smother out the weeds. Um, and um, he's going to seed it probably at least twice this fall. And we just met with a guy today, actually, who said you can uh, do dormant seeding. We could seed actually in November, and, and if we use the right kind of seed, it goes dormant and just sits th through the winter and into the spring. And when spring comes, it'll start to, it'll start to sprout. Because we can't get up there in March and April. We can't do it. Yeah, and so, but by doing it in the fall, we'll, we'll get some growth uh, early in the spring there. So we're going to try that. I mean, that's our option. That's what we've done at LEET, and LEET isn't doing all that badly. We just seed like crazy. When we start getting those areas where the grubs are, we yeah. see the heck out of it, and it comes back. So, you know, uh, we were without water up there for mm. a very uh, extended period, I think two weeks in the summer during a real hot spell. There was something going on in the school, and they had to shut down all the electricity to the school. Yeah. When they did that, it shut off the power to yeah. the irrigation. And that was key weed growing time. And so that was another impact on what happened this year up there. But, we can, we'll, you know, we can bring it back. We'll, we'll do it. Well, the irony of ironies is that the crabgrass, when it grows in the summertime, is beautiful, it's green, yeah. it's lush, right. and then when it dies in the fall, it mm -hmm. takes everything with it. With it. And so, um, it didn't, from a, from a um, athletic standpoint, it didn't affect the play. Okay. It's just very, uh, it just doesn't look very right. healthy. 
Um, but there, there's no risk of injury for any of the players up there to, to use the fields. Okay. It, it's just not aesthetically pleasing. Right. Okay, Green Committee. So there were, there were several items. One was the Talento bench that I talked about already. Um, they also was, there was a proposal to put a bike rack on the green, uh, and they, they said no to that. Um, they thought maybe, you know, maybe in front of some of the businesses. There is one um, at the Savings Bank. There's one at uh, Pages. Um, they just think the green was an appropriate spot for a bike rack, and they, you know, suggested that the the group that came to propose that maybe talk to some of the business owners and see if they want to have it, you know, closer to like the coffee shop or something. Um, the other thing is that uh, I think I might have mentioned this last meeting that there's a there's a well on the north right. west corner, and they approved using the millstone that's in front of one of the shops to put it and cap that well with the millstone. And so Public Works is going to move it over there at some point, and then um, Joel Hilder will come up with a wording for a plaque, an order a plaque to put on it. Thanks. And the, the Green Committee approved that. Okay, land acquisition. Nothing, Nothing to report. To report. Yeah. Technology. Mark's not here. Mark's Mark's it. No. Well, um, well go Ellen ahead. has the... Um, I never remember what it's the track. Web track. Web track yeah. up and updated. Report, so right? mm -hmm. yeah. um, and they're still updating the iPads and all the systems. All moving in the right direction. Yeah. Okay. The 25th anniversary celebration. I know Ellen's got her uh, whole team working on this. So it is, what, November 9th, 5 to 7. Put it on your calendars. Public's invited. Did you say five uh, to seven? Five to seven. Yes. By the dating interval? November um, 9th. 9th. It's a Friday evening. And I believe all the uh, former commission members are being invited. Mm -hmm. The town officials are being invited. So there's. So she's got a lot of people working on that. You may have some. Uh, are we going to open up the building next door for parking? Because uh, tonight, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Tonight, 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 tonight was a nightmare trying to find parking. Yeah, I'm like, me too. I'm Down far. the street near the church. Yes. Yeah. I'll drive you to your car. Yeah, thank you. Mm -hmm. Or um, I'll walk with you. Yeah, exactly. uh, maybe you, you, you know, you, you're, you're talking but to the choir. I mean, yeah. try not, to come here on a Friday and park. I mean, you know, it's impossible. Is, I can even, I mean, there's not much parking right now. No, at the there's only there. a couple only of like spaces five. there. Yeah. Four or five, yeah. Yeah, that's it, because I tried to park it, and I'm like, do I park on the front lawn? No, I better not. No. <laughs> so there's only four or five spaces yeah. there at this point. Mm -hmm. I don't see anything happening between now and... If we expect a huge crowd, we could always uh, bus them from the green. Use one of our senior buses. Mm -hmm. So we can talk about that. Yeah. Other than that, I really don't know what. what yeah, I think that's probably say. the only thing going on. That, there might be one, one fitness class, but, but other than that, usually there's nothing Much in the building on a Friday night. Then, yeah. yeah. How, how okay. is this being publicized, and is it is it out there? So like, we can we expect a bunch of people, or I believe it will be out there. Yeah. Okay. Do we have a slide on GCTV? Yes. I'm not sure if Ellen has done that, but I will. I think she's going to work on that because we did one for the 20th anniversary. Mm -hmm. We had like right. a scrolling. Uh, slideshow kind of thing and um, I think she still has a lot of that so I think a lot of that we can put back up um, but yeah you know I can call uh, Zoe Rouge she might want to do a feature story or something mm -hmm. in the career about it mm -hmm. and Rose want me to have her call you too talk, talk to you about the yeah, she, university she can talk to her it's fine Um, all right, community center improvements. So Todd has pretty well told us what improvements have been made. Um, and the building, the building's looking very good. I it think. looks mm -hmm. good. It, it really good. does. Yeah. It really does. Like I said, there's just a couple of little things we need to work on between now and November. The lights and the, so. the kitchen down. Todd said you had to order special lights or the company doesn't have them to fit, but... That has to be. Yeah. It's dark it's, on one half of that road. It, it is, and it's it's uh, the, the bulbs have to be replaced, but those are s slotted for replacement with the new LED bulbs anyway. Mm -hmm. Didn't make sense for us to go buy bulbs, put them in, and then they're going to come out. You know, and you don't have a handle on when they're doing that yet. Originally, they were going to do 
when school started, they were supposed to start focusing more on here on the, on the electrical stuff because they want to get all the schools done right. first. So um, they were working through um, Steve Nidoff. So I can find out from him when we get on the schedule to do that. I'll check that out. But all in all, the, the big improvements that we needed done are pretty much yeah. done, and it's looking pretty good. Just little little tweaks here and there, and we should be fine. <clears throat> Splash pad. Um, we are waiting for the proposal from Will Thompson's, which just came in tonight. So um, Rick, Rose, and I will take a look at that, and then I will report back to our subcommittee on that. Okay. Are we, are we voting on that proposal, or that's just who's going to approve? Well, we would have to approve. Yeah, we, okay. we, Needs, we just came in, so we're yep. not going to bring it here yep. to just see what it is. I thought the yeah. way it sounded that, okay. That's yeah. Oh, no, no. Ultimately, it, yeah. it's all the decisions mm -hmm. come from us. Yeah. Yes. Okay, unfinished. Oh, unfinished. But Jacob's Beach platform. Why is it still on here? Well, it's gorgeous. It's wonderful. We're going to do the planting around it, the, oh, okay. um, the sod okay. around it. So I just kept that as a placeholder until that's all done. But uh, how did it, Should we? Did it work out okay? It was perfect. It, was it actually was lovely. a perfect seat setting. And yeah. It just worked out really well, and we used part as a stage, you know, a little stage, but we had the picnic tables around. It was really... It was quite nice. Really worked out well. Um, but <laughs> plantings around it... Um, Sod. Sod around it. Sod, yeah. Some of the, like the area between the, the shower and the... It's like a triangular area mm -hmm. between the shower and the platform. It's just dirt right now. Okay. Will and John Cunningham are recommending that we, we put topsoil there, sod it, okay. and there's one other section on the far right. side of it okay. to, to extend the grass. So we're not going to do anything. I mean, I don't want to do too much until we see where the splash pad's going, and can, that's can my concern. Can we just go back to something? I, I completely missed the meeting last time, but um, so Will Thompson were just automatically awarding him the contract for design no, no. on it? No? no? It was just a proposal that we were looking at. Are we to see if he going out to bid on it though, or are we going to get? Well, that's why we need to look at his first to see because he was. I've never heard bidding like that before. No, we're, we're not bidding, we're on, anything. Not bidding we're bidding on anything. Bidding on anything. I mean, you, you don't just look at one proposal and then go out to bid. It's I don't. Not, it's just a proposal because we've used him for everything He's for Jacob's the Jacob speech. speech, and we're not going out to bid yet because we don't even have a vote to go forward. So with is this, this for a study or for design? No, for study. A study. Okay. We haven't even thought about design yet because we don't even know if it's a viable place okay, or so it's for the study. It's for the study. It may be environmental issues there with right. DEP and yeah. All right. So yes, yeah, so the platform is just going to sod. No, no, no planting. No, so that's speak. it. All right, because I, I like to wait before we put too much <coughs> in. All right, disc golf course is a go. It's a go. It's a go. Wetlands approved it. Planning and zoning approved it. Thanks to Larry, showed up for um, both those meetings. And Lawrence, I'm sorry, Lawrence, <laughs> um, came to both meetings. And um, uh, so I met out there with uh, our designer, Craig Smolin, uh, Friday, I think. It was a week ago. Okay. Um, and uh, he said, what's the next step? He said, well, you got to kind of clearly mark where the fairways are going to be. Now we have to identify where are they going exactly. Mm -hmm. Then Kevin McGee has to post for trees to come down. And then we can get people out there. Okay. Um, I have a call into, I think we might be able to get some help from the National Guard. Uh, when I was at the fair uh, a week ago, mm -hmm. um, a guy from the National Guard, um, we just met, we talked, and he said, oh, we'd love to do something with the Parks and Rec Department in Guilford. Wow. They have a unit in, in Westbrook. Um, and then I also ran in at the Hammond Acid Festival on Saturday. The Coast Guard was there, so I talked yeah. to them about it. And there's a group of Coast Guard folks that live in Guilford. They may be interested, so we might get the armed services here That's to help awesome. us help That's us build great. this. Um, so um, the Coast Guard, I did discuss that with them. The National Guard, I didn't. They were they were talking more about coming and doing like touch a truck and bring their Humvees and things like that to that an event. Awesome. Um, so that would be a lot of fun. yeah, and I think you know they'd be willing to do that. But then I, over the weekend, I was just thinking about whoa, maybe they'll come help us build this, the disc maybe golf course. Will. So I have a call into them in an email, and I just haven't heard back yet. I sent it out today. So, Rick, let me, this is just because I'm curious about this. How long do you think it take, will take to get these trees down and get this sort of well, going? Well, so 
Realistically, uh, I, I, thought, I was speaking with Jason Michaels, the other guy that's helping design it. Mm -hmm. He ran a disc golf tournament at the Guilford Lakes Golf Course, which, you mentioned, there, yeah. which we were aware of that. I, we brought flyers from the handout that were looking for help with ours, and, and I actually spoke, I went there, I spoke with some people, and they're ecstatic that we're trying to build something in Guilford. Mm -hmm. um, and, and Jason said, you got to figure a year. I said, wow, okay. I want this open in the summer. What? He said, well, it's all volunteers. You know, you get maybe a few guys uh, on a weekend and here weekend and there. You know, no one's going to come and work, you know, two days straight, you know, because yeah. they're all volunteers. Um, but that's what I'm thinking. If we can get the National Guard help, I think we can get a lot more done a lot quicker. And how about our Boy Scouts? Boy Scouts, we'll talk to them, certainly. Uh, you know, high school kids have so to do have community the, service. Do we have one for building, who want to build the... Uh... Uh, no, we don't have one for that. Don't have one. Okay. Um, but there is one. Yeah, there's a scout coming up, and that's one another project I suggested to okay. them. Um, so really, I mean, right now it's in the hands. Of, Craig's got to get some time to go out there, mark them, clearly mark out the boundaries of each fairway, and then um, Kevin has to post it, and then, and then we, can we can start doing it. Yeah, another note. I went, I went to that tournament in the afternoon. They mm -hmm. did two sessions, one in the morning, one after the. Was this was just packed. recently? Yeah, just past yeah. Sunday. Yeah, it was yeah, packed, I, I know. I was Rick, you go, in the, you go in the morning? I went, no, I was, no, I was here about 2 o'clock, 2.15. Yeah, I must have just, yeah, I must, yeah, I must, yeah, I must have just missed you. But very impressive. There's 72 disc golf. It's serious. I mean, they take it really serious. A good bunch of people there. If people, uh, I spoke to one of the guys. They said they, they can see them host. You know, our course hosting two tournaments a year. Said people. They'll, 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 they said that this course will be used. Yeah. If people come in for the tournament, they have people from Massachusetts, Rhode Island. Yeah. And, uh, real, real impressive. Good bunch of people. Yeah. And there were uh, there were kids too. There were some kids. Yeah, kids, all, yeah, all the gentlemen, the ladies. There was. There's one guy who I, I would guess he was in his fifties. I just happened to be watching hole number seven, which was up on a ridge, and it, and it went to a the, the basket was about it was 220 feet away, up on a rock ridge. He got a hole in one. Wow. <laughs> he threw it 220 feet. It was a perfect strike. It didn't even. It went pew, right in there. And he's jumping up and down, and it was no like, wow, 220 feet. Wow. Right into the basket. It was an amazing shot. I'm glad I got to see that. So there, there was a lot of talent, but it was all ages. I saw some older people and yeah. you know, kids. And that's what we know. That's what's this, we've always yeah. said. That's what's going to be attracted. All ages will be attracted to the play. Yeah. All right. Wow. Roof replacement. Are we done? Um, almost a couple uh, of and ads, but almost very close. Good. No leaks last rainstorm. Uh, not the last one. The one before there was one right outside of here, right outside the door here. Um, and the, the reason the carpets pulled up. You know, downstairs, that leak happened. They got caught rain that wasn't forecast, and they didn't have all the tarps down, and it just started pouring. But the heavy, and they were scrambling. Rain that we and had, we did okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One one small leak, which was right outside of here, and uh, they know about that, so they got to try to track that down and maybe put a little tar or something on the edge. Uh, but yeah, it, it, okay. it held up. Wow, good. Okay, uh, synthetic field, we know it's going to mediation. Yeah. Is there anything else we need to know? Um, n n no, only that um, the designer is uh, wanting to do some further studies of the uh, material. So they're asking to get some pieces of the carpet and do some studies on it. So we're trying to get that for them. All right. Um, the field use policy and fees. Field use policy and fees, we had a uh, meeting last uh, Thursday. And... Um, after much negotiation, um, Rick um, offered a proposal that uh, we are going to put into a format that will be presented to the board uh, for their for approval. Okay. So next month. Um, next month it shall be presented okay. um, and it shall be discussed by the members and then you all or we all can vote on it. And we're all going to be anxiously awaiting. It it has. Um, it has some changes, but we, okay. and um, the, the discussion that we'll have, I'll have more information of other towns um, right. as to what's going on. All right. Thank you. Um, the office trailer. We've gotten some, some information, or? We have, um, uh, we asked Ellen to do some research for us, and she found, I think it was four or five companies. If we rent it, um, the price range for the, for year one is between twelve and fourteen thousand dollars. It goes down year two because part of that is the setup, right. where they, there's like three thousand dollar fee to bring it, deliver it, 
set up and breakdown. In the next year, it's, it's the rental only, which is around seven or eight thousand, you know, for a second year. Um, and to purchase, there are only two companies of those four, I think, uh, that offered them for sale, and they range from forty-two thousand to forty-six thousand. So I think a lot of this is going to depend on how many years we're really going to have to do this. And um, so I, I, sp I spoke with Matt a little bit about it. And um, Tom Philly and Tom is on vacation. He's coming back uh, Wednesday or Thursday. And so Tony and I are going to meet with him. we we got to really determine the location. A lot of it depends on if they're going to do this truck wash station, where that's going to go. And so the point is that, I mean, I think, you know, behind a building makes a lot of sense, you know, where we all talked before. But <clears throat> the downside of that is if they're going to be putting a truck wash station in their ear, it's getting moved. So wherever, if we think we're going to need this for three or four years, we should put it once wherever it's going to be for three or four years and not move it. So it'll be somewhere down there. I just know exactly where yet. So we got to talk with Tom Philly and the uh, public works guy. And, and have we get, looked into, like, used ones? We had talked about that when we were down there. Um, we should check into I that think these are, um, well, well, the rentals would be used. The rental for purchase, for purchase? About, yeah. Purchasing. That, yeah. I, 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 Ellen did that research. I don't know if that was new or used. The uh, forty-two to forty-six. Okay. I can find that out. Yeah, so the payback on this is three years. Three years rental versus purchasing. Correct. Outlay. So if we rent for, but then if we rent for two years and then purchase, then we're paying essentially sixty percent the cost of a purchase for a rental before we made a decision to buy. So it almost makes good sense to, to look at a, at a purchase over rental. I mean, is, if, is this something we're only going to have for, for, for fewer than three years, or is it uh, an expectation of, a, of another building that we're going to maybe get down the line? For the, the, I think time? the hope is that we're going to get a building for these guys, right? And that if that's five years out, then we, they need a place for five years. Yeah. If it's I think two we're years talking out. more than three years. Yeah. Okay. So the, I mean, the actual building, building a new facility for them is, is going to take longer than three years to get this done. <laughs> Approvals and everything else, right. design. Yeah. And a place for it. Right. Yeah. Or they could move, where there's no possibility of moving into an existing, like, we would not look at an existing building somewhere if something came up? If something came up, there's nothing. I don't think the right town has any surface proper, property right now to deal with. Yeah. I mean, you'd want it near where they're working. Right. Yeah. You down, I mean, you know, it doesn't make sense to put something at Bittner for them when all the garage stuff is down there. It doesn't right. make sense. Yeah, I mean, it's, I mean, I mean, instead of renting a trailer, is there like a commercial building we can, in lieu of paying rent to the right, trailer, is there a commercial building in town that we can rent until we, we get a new building? Well, it would have to be all the trucks and everything have to be there. That, that's the hard thing. Where do you find the gas pumps? Yeah. I mean, everything. It makes so much sense to be there because the public works is there. If we have a mower that needs repair, the guys bring it, you know, 200 feet across the parking lot, you know. Because some people have talked about, why don't you just build a facility at Bidner? Well, that just took up a huge parking area if right. we did that, for one thing. Mm -hmm. And it's so far away from everything else. I don't think we could ever get gas pumps up there. There's a river, you know. And so they got to come down here to gas up. If they have a, something that broke or need repairs, they got to come down and bring it to public works. Being there in one location, it just makes so much sense. No, I, I'm not going to disagree with it, but I just have a question with regard to our building that we have at the high school. When do we lose control over that and return that back over to Good question. the Board of Education? Because there is surplus, not surplus, but there is a large amount of office space that's going to be open up there. Now, granted, it's not suitable for trucks and then for anything like that, but could there be a trade-off you know, with another department? But doesn't it have to, don't they have to have so many years of, why did we take it over in the beginning? Because we were given, it was a gift. Uh, and that's with quotation marks around it. <laughs> yeah, but wasn't there um, no, so many it. years? It's still under our, it's still under our uh, jurisdiction. jurisdiction but, so. Yeah, but for how long? Weren't there, wasn't there a stipulation? I don't think there's too much more time left. Be? But again, you know, to put, to even no, think I'm about putting the guys up there, they need to be near the base. Mm -hmm. They need to be down there. Yeah, I mean, I'm just, otherwise, I'm we're just, just wasting time to driving around town. Because I think the public sometimes, that's why I like to get it out here, because I think sometimes the public doesn't understand that. So I'm just merely bringing up another side of it that people have asked me. 
that I'd like to put out here for the public to see as to why, you know, when, sometimes when you say new building, new design, people automatically as taxpayers think money, money, money. So I'm just trying to put it out there as to reasoning why that's the approach we're going for instead of moving it somewhere or looking for another building or come up with next door. Not yet. No. There's a, there's a, um, uh, Matt Hoy has set up a, uh, a committee to look at uh, town building, and I believe Gary McElhaney is chairing that. So he's going to be looking at that and other places and, and uh Because, I mean, if it's if working through decided that. decided this winter on that building, couldn't they use that for their rest stop or their lunch where it's, there's mm -hmm. running water and heat? I mean, we have well, to. I'm come here. assuming we. Yeah. Okay. yeah. So it's not that much of an improvement. Well, it would be their own space. Like here, they've well, got to, yeah, you know, fight with other people that are already sure. here. And I know they can't store their trucks here or there, but at least that would give them space, their area. space. Yeah. I forget, is it only public works and parks and rec down in that location? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, we, we, I, we can ask about that. We can ask about that. Because, I mean, in the wintertime, if we know there's a snowstorm coming, Mm-hmm. They can park the trucks the night before here, and then like that be their base. I mean, because obviously, if there's a snowstorm coming, we're not open right away. If there's school delays and whatnot, they well, can again, have, they have to go down there to, to gas up. This, you know, the sand is yeah. down there to load up the sanders, and you know, so you still got to go yes. down there at some point anyway. Yeah, but you are just prepared and you gas your truck up before, and you park the truck the night before. Or just a thought. <laughs> Did they run out of gas? <laughs> so, so, so we'll think. We'll, we'll talk. We'll yeah. talk to. Uh, so essentially, the building the we're looking be about for it. is just to offer a a base for them then to have mm -hmm. from where they can do their scheduling. They can do. They have lunch and have a secure area, mm -hmm. a restaurant, a locker, a locker area, and things yeah, like that. Exactly. And a restroom. And a restroom. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So you know, as, as I think Rick has said, they are they're sort of vagabonds right now, of, uh, right. having to share space or whatever you want to call it with a parking rack and they don't have anything to call their own down there. Is that, is that my correct assumption? No, the building is, is the park. If the building that they're using is a park and rec building. Okay. Um, the problem is it's, it's a huge building okay. and there's no um, separation between where they work and where they eat. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. they're eating so they're, they're the eating, uh, I'll get to that though. <laughs> they're eating, you know, next to their chemicals. Right. And there's only one sink that they use not only to wash their hands, or but they use it to wash all their paintbrushes, and so, you know. Would this trailer be on the outside um, the building or yes, the inside Yes, it would the be building? outside. That's okay. Is, yeah. I mean, is there enough clear ceiling height to put a, a trailer on the inside of the building? No. There's no room. There's no room. Okay. There's no room, because it's a very small space they have. I have not taken it first. And, so and there's another small space that is Tony's office that has no windows, no... Um, no, no ventilation, yeah, no air, no question. ventilation, and is there's no bathroom. Works, works happy with their space? Oh, yes. They're happy with it? Well, they would like to have our space, too. We have five days. <laughs> I mean, I'm thinking space. this is almost a joint venture yeah. with Public Works that, you know, it becomes a, a capital yeah. project, you know, with them. Um, I mean, I really think this is, this really needs to be studied because it'll be a referendum issue, you know? Mm -hmm. right. I think, and Matt knows that. I mean, yeah. Right, right mm -hmm. now, though. It is. It's going to be a huge issue to figure out what to do. Yeah. But the concern right now is to try to get them a trailer this is or just something. A stopgap measure. Exactly. Yeah. For the next mm -hmm. four or five years, just so that they have, yeah. not have to eat with their chemicals. Mm -hmm. And that may, I mean, five years ago when we looked at it, I was like, you know, that it was a horrible setup. It really yeah. was. And it hasn't improved. No. It's the same setup. Yeah. So to build that, we'll take the least five years. To, to so that, and you're right. It's going to, it's going to take a lot of planning, and, yeah. and you have to look at the wetlands down there. Yeah. I mean, so there's a floodplain. There's a lot to look at. Yeah, there really is. There really is, and so I don't think we're going to come to any sort of a, a conclusion right. on that. But we just need something for the interim right. for yeah. these guys, and that's looks like a trailer is the best way to go. Yeah. Is there a minimum um, rental period on the trailer? Uh, minimum or maximum? It's a year, I think. Years, yeah. years. I think, or that's what we looked at. It was a year. We knew we would need it at least for that anyway. But one thing I do will say is when they are snow plowing, and if they're going all night long, I give Tony a key and access to come in here so yeah. if they, they can sleep. I mean, it's not a bed, but it's more comfortable than a truck. <laughs> and they, they, you know, they go in the elite room and they, the showers if they want to use them, and they can relax for a little while and then go back out. And that's happened a couple times. 
they'll come in here. But if we know that, I just, I just give them a key, the code to get in, and yeah, uh, they come they in. Yeah. yeah. All right. Um, window replacements, are they all done? They are done. Okay, and we did 20? 20... 25. Right. Again, that was nothing in our budget. how many more need to be done? Oh boy, there are more, but this is all that in this phase that was approved. So I don't know. And this was again wasn't our department. It all right. came through the energy efficiency uh, grant or something that the town had, and um, it's all part of uh, HVAC. So some of the HVAC upgrades that have been done here are out of that. The replacement of light bulbs comes out of that, and windows. It was all uh, town buildings and school. So it's something not in our department. It's just this is one of the buildings that was being done. So are there plans to do the other windows eventually? Or? I, uh, you know, I have to check with Steve. I don't know. Yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't part of that project. It's just okay. we were the recipient of some of the help. Well, we should write them a nice thank you note. Okay, any other unfinished business? All right, so new business, budget. We. So we need a meeting, I assume. Uh, yeah, we, you know, we haven't gotten any direction yet, but we, I think we need to, you know, we kind of know what we have to do anyway. Um, and I think that um, it would be good to have a, a meeting at some point and just talk about, you know, some of the issues we know are coming up, like the building we're just talking about and, you know, what we want to do and staffing and all that kind of stuff. Isn't it usually due, like, December 21st? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, speaking of budget, I was a passenger in Rick's uh, town truck. You see, you it's a Flintstone bad. mobile. <laughs> you need to truck bad. It's in this year's budget. We, All right, yeah, we have it. Yeah. So, Rick, do you want to have a meeting? Oh, did you feel unsafe? Yeah, just like holes in the body. Just, yeah, I, I wouldn't want to drive around that. It's, it's a Swiss cheese mobile. <laughs> yeah, the brakes don't work too well either. <laughs> do you want to meet before our um, November 5th meeting, you think? Or is that too late? Uh, Do you mean like before the November 5th date or before the actual meeting? Before the actual meeting. Is that doable? I don't no? think most of the group can be here before 6.30. Okay. I don't want to speak for everyone, but... Yeah. Okay. <laughs>
fifth or whatever. Definitely. <laughs> Rick will put it on the uh, agenda. Yeah. Parking lot budget. Okay. Okay, so the review of the policy on memorial benches and trees. Claire and I took a field trip. And the chart is the result of the field trip. Um, we did go and we looked at all the park benches, the tables, the chairs, etc. Claire very nicely put this into a chart for us. I notice one omission I think we should discuss too. That would be Mill Pond. We did not look at Mill Pond. That's good. Good, I, good thought. There but are. we could do that. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah, the Boy Scout did yeah. those. Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll double check uh, Mill Pond. So Cosway, right? basically, we sort of, as we did this, we walked around and we looked at where we might put additional benches and chairs. So the sheet that says addendum to the policy on memorials, we thought at Jacobs Beach we could have a total, including what's already there, of approximately 18 park benches and 15 chairs. And where we would like to put them would be along the boardwalk. And presuming we get the splash pad, we could see some of them going around the splash pad, and then we have a lot of them in the playground already. So are you saying so we could take 18 more benches? No. no. We've total got 18 benches, including what is already this, there. The These are the ones that are already there. These are already there. No. This is this is the paper that tells you what is already at the parks. This tells you the this tells you the um, maximum number that we would foresee at the park. Um, at Chittenden, there are two chairs down by the water, so we don't see any additions that need to go there because there's really no room there. Rollwood, I made a mistake. There are apparently two stone benches there, right? That's what it says. Two yes. Benches. That was a drive-by, so I'll, but I'm pretty sure that was two. That's right. And we don't see any more. <laughs> we don't see any more go, needing to go there. Chaffinch well, is minute. pretty full. You have here two, and then over here, Rollwood Park, I, one I just, park bench. Yes, we just said so that needs to be add. changed. That needs oh. to be changed to two stone benches. See? Are they stone benches, or are they part of the building that burned down at one point? Um, well, I had. That's why I had to do a little quick drive <laughs> back by. But um, <laughs> yes, they were actual stone benches. So Rollwood has two stone benches as we speak. Yes, and we don't foresee any more there, otherwise it's too much. Chaffinch has the four memorial benches, um, and we thought down, there are a lot of picnic benches, picnic tables there. So we could see when you first come into Chaffinch, down at the bottom, people are often fishing there, and we thought either a park bench or two chairs. And that should suffice for Chaffinch at this point, because they really, otherwise it's just too much. Right. Did you let Tony know about the wicker couch no. that is there? Oh, I saw. Where is no, that? There's a wicker chair down there at Chaffin that's got to go. Oh. When you pull into the park. Yeah. Line, you park right in those little spots and walk straight down. It's like tucked around the corner. It's a beautiful it's spot a beautiful to sit spot in view, but, but like. Um, so we made a donation. <laughs> <laughs> and there's also a big. Can you um, sit in it or is it a oh, barrel? Big barrel that, that somebody's, somebody's cooking in. Yeah. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, okay. one of those half barrels. That's down there, too. It was on one of the rocks yeah. on the farther end. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Daniel Avenue Beach, which is now Barbara Pine. Um, we're talking, there was already a park bench there, but two total of two park benches or one bench and two chairs, depending on whatever somebody would like to donate. Peddlers is good. <laughs> Bittner, there's one, and we thought we could put, we could add um, a bench uh, near the disc golf entrance, and we could also put one near the pickleball court, if, if somebody would like that. Quantapog, none, and we do have to go check, we'll double check Mill Pond by the next meeting. How's that? Okay. Wouldn't Kyle three. make two or three benches? Three, I think. Three? Yeah. 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 
I know it's their job. You know, and I don't know if we need more there. I'm sorry. I don't know if we need no, more. No, I, I know it's their job, you know, guys, to cut the grass. But the more stuff we put there, the more stuff they got to cut. Absolutely, mm -hmm. absolutely. <laughs> And that's why we're just, we think that these are the maximum numbers that we want to see at these places. We don't want to see them filled with benches and chairs. Mm -hmm. Bring your own. We want people yeah. to be able to walk and play well, and, <laughs> you know. But Jacob's, you know, there's a, there are always so many people sitting along that boardwalk. And so we, we thought we could do more chairs along the boardwalk, more benches along the boardwalk. That's a hot spot down there. People just love to just sit there. And, and look at the water. So that's probably the place that we could use. You know, and we're not, you know, we're not looking to fill this up, but this is just when people come to us now, we have something. Yeah. So I think we should just sort of live with this. We'll check on Mill Pond and we can vote on it next meeting. Uh, this is my question. The marine is not part of our territory. No. Okay. It is not. Okay. My airs really need some questions. approving the numbers as maximum. On, on yes. Okay. Yeah, vote on those as the maximum numbers. And then that helps in the future. Right. So if you have an inventory, we know. And, you know, yep. yes. Yes. So that one park doesn't end up with a whole lot of stuff and another park mm -hmm. is empty or whatever. All right, is there any other business? Um, I just have one request for, for consideration for Bittner Park. Um, the area down by the playground mm -hmm. has a slot of, for three cars. I would like to propose that we make one of them a handicap spot. I thought one was. No, there's nothing there. No. We uh, we got to work with Public Works because there's a when it rains there's always a there's huge a puddle huge down there. Puddle. Yeah. I think yeah. they, they can make a cut puddle. in the curb. I think they can get it to drain out. Yeah, yeah. you need to cut but, a hole in that curb. Right? But you're right. It's, it does make sense to have a handicap parking down there. The, the closest handicap spot is towards the entrance to the playing fields, where the old playground yeah. used to be. There are two up there, but there's nothing down by where our building is and where the okay. uh, playground is. But it's, uh, I think you know when you when you're dealing with some folks. Oh, I agree. No, no. Yeah, you know, that we should have a handicap spot down there. Are you sure that didn't used to be one? I feel like there used to be a sign there. Is that one of our signs that got taken? Well, I can tell you. And that could be. There. Mm -hmm. yeah, I, I, I feel I like know. in the past there was because I think I always park where it says. Um, Park and rec. <laughs> Don't park here. Don't park here. Yeah. <laughs> and I always tell Tony, if you see my car, just come get me. Text me. I'll move it. Yeah. Well, I don't think we need it. You know, I think Rick just will just take care I, of it. I have we a, don't need a motion. We're gonna, we have to redo, it, strike this park a lot, and we got a quote for that. And when they do it, I'll ask the guy if he could just add on whatever it is to put a handicap spot up there. You know, put the symbol. And then we we'll, we can get a sign for it. So um, well, I think it would just be, be a simple. sign because it's, it's dirt. It's dirt, isn't it? Dirt? No, it's no, paved. Yeah, paved. Right well, right yeah. might be kind of muddy because of the puddle, but <laughs> but we do have to get that puddle out of there. In order to enforce it, you have to need three things. You need the handicap sign at eye level. Yeah. You need something on the pavement, the handicap sim uh, symbol. You also need violators will be fine. If you don't have those three things, it's not enforceable. Here's another question, though. Do we have to do any modifications to the area around it in order to make it handicap accessible? No, there's no. Uh, there is a hole in the gate there that you can you can walk through. Okay. But like, but but the, but you're right. The the wooden mm -hmm. fence that wooden that's around it is. How many times I've dragged right bags yes. and I had to go mm -hmm. around that? But thing. actually, there's there there's a spot there for for people to walk through. Mm -hmm. But would it be they may need burning? to. Uh, they may need to cut uh, the curbing down and make it grade level again. But uh, but there is a spot in the in the wooden fencing for it. Um, I think the only other thing I was going to regarding handicap park. We used to have handicap parking. We had um, at Long Hill. We had Ken what? Mulvey sign. Okay, but that's the one. I'm now it just says no parking on the bottom. But I, I can tell you right now, Bob, soccer moms and dads don't. Read. But we they don't read that sign. On either side, there are handicap spots, aren't there? I think no, it just, says no it just says no parking. There's no, none say We used to have handicap yeah. there, but they took them down for the winter time. Oh. And, then, oh, okay. and the, the, uh, it seems like they're not they need, to, they need to go back up. I mean, yeah. It's a little late, but they should be up permanently. Why do we take them down in the winter? I didn't know we did. Unless uh, somebody took them. Yeah, I didn't think we took these signs down at all once we put them up. Well, you brought it up before. I, I, I feel like I, we've talked about I, Long Hill I'm a, before. I'm a SJW when it comes to <laughs> handicap parking. So, mm -hmm. 
I said, I think we have them either side of the Mulvey sign, right? Because we didn't want them in front of the Mulvey sign because then people couldn't see that. Right. Well, yeah. the idea was is that there was no parking signs that were put in front right of the Mulvey yeah. sign, yeah. but right. it doesn't say no. I, at least my recollection is it does not say handicap parking. Mm -hmm. right. And we have the speed bump there. You notice the speed bump? Oh, that's cool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he apparently didn't notice. No, I didn't notice. <laughs> no, I, I have not had. Oh, well, that's your that's your mufflers hanging out over there. I have underground. not been assigned any games there yet. So, any other business? Motion to adjourn. Adjourn. Motion, please. Second. I'll second. second. All in favor. Aye. 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 I guess without saying. Very good. Thank you all. Thank you.